Now we're gonna work on getting the window ready. So we'll be putting these gaskets onto the surface of this. It has a sticky side to it. And we'll be taking off this protective layer on the one side first and then the other side of the polycarbonate sheet. So we got four different pieces, the two sides and the two tops are the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna put these Layer. Once you take this off, you can't put it back. Alright, so I moved to a place that is cleaner, less dusty, because I was getting dirt on here. So I rinsed it off, you can see some of the water around here. But now I ha have the gaskets here, the sticky side, and the other side, and then the window right here. So I want to start with one piece at a time and basically get it along like this. So when you do put it on, match it as best as you can, best you can. Because you want the gap in between these pieces to be as small as possible. Preferably no gap. So what I'll do is I'll start with this one and then move in a circle or a rectangle and then after we get this on we'll drill some holes to this so we have the holes where the bolts can go through also wash your hands before you do this to get as little dirt as possible peel a little bit off and start in this corner take your time when you're doing this because you want to do this part well so we got the corner right here you want to match them up as best you can. So peel some away already. So we got these two on. So I'll go with the longer piece first. So I, because it's easier to do the small one. It's important to note that when you're doing this, you don't want to say, if I'm, if I have this part here, I don't want to start putting it over here because it might not match as well as you want it. So you always want to start at one of the corners. Okay, now we got three of them here. So now I want to put the last one here. It doesn't matter what side I start. That is how your window should look after putting the rubber gasket thing on it. Now that we have that all squared away, what you want to do next is flip it over. And then we're going to drill holes through the gasket. So the whole size of these holes are a quarter inch. However, I will use a 7 30 seconds so I don't damage the window itself and it will give it a tighter seal on the so now we have the window done next step is to install it first I'll actually turn it out shake some of this rubber pieces off push these spots down so now the window is ready to go we got all these holes drilled the gasket on a little concerned about this spot because this was longer so it kind of overlapped I think it should be fine hopefully but you can see all right now we got pretty much everything done we got the holes drilled it cut out it cleaned we prepared the window so we have the gasket. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this inside. So we're gonna put this on the inside and you want this side of the gasket against here. And then we'll be using the washers this time. And you see it has this kind of rubber seal around it. So you have one on the inside and one on the outside and you want this rubber part against the plastic like that. You don't wanna make it too tight because you might crack the glass or the plastic 
um, but you want to make it tight enough so that this basically flattens against the plastic. So that's what we'll be doing right now. So you see we got this gasket here, so this will go against this surface right here. So again, you want to start in the middle, or roughly the middle, like how we drilled it, so that gives you the best seal. Just finished putting the window on. It looks pretty cool. Took us about 40 minutes just to put all these bolts and washers on. Took some time. My dad said it looks like a submarine. See the inside. Yeah, these are supposed to, they got gaskets on the other side and they seal it. I think I got one left. So they sent a few extra bolts, a few, uh, one extra washer. That's how they look. Uh, a few nuts. Show you an inside view as well. So we made those pretty tight. You want these to pretty much flatten up against the, the tank. back I'll show you a bigger view that is how it looks from over here looks pretty cool I'm lucky that I was able to record the whole thing because my battery percent on my phone is 5% but you can see how that looks this is how it looks on the inside so you got your your bolt your washer and then the glass and then the so, uh, the gasket and the point of having the this side of the bolt on this side is so that you don't scratch the fish or the fish get damaged or anything but this is what the fish will be seeing my beautiful aquaponic system still on its pro in progress <laughs> So I got the window on here. I have these two and those two filled with water. Those ones are those ones are higher at the moment. So now I'm gonna fill this one with water. Hopefully this doesn't leak and down there doesn't leak. And then we'll be set. But that's what I'll do now. watching in that video I just showed you how to install a beautiful window if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and you know, give a thumbs up and subscribe.